There's two of them. Really hard to videotape butterflies. <laughs> So I'm three miles away from Brown Fork Shelter. Mom's a little ways behind me because I'm going ahead to find a tent spot again. I just came down these stairs. They were really steep. They go up and back that way quite a bit and up over that rock. Um, but I came around the corner after doing those stairs and I saw this stuff and it just looked really cool. Big old tree and this like boulder, but this, uh, little tree, I don't know, bent tree. Just looks like there has to be some sort of hidden magical doorway there that no one's gone through. <laughs> That's what it feels like to me. And then just over that way, and I gotta go down there. So that's the boulder. All the way down all these steps. Woo! All the way down these steps. And then, funky tree archway. Giant trees. Oh my goodness. But I gotta keep going. Egg rocks. More stairs and more stairs. <laughs> I just walked across these and looked out, and now I'm wondering where Tarzan is because this is like all vines, all vines, all the way up in the street. Promise people I would not take any unnecessary risks, so I'm not swinging on the vines, y'all. Oh man, it would be fun though. I just came off of this top. I forget, I'm heading into Sequoia Gap. I'm heading down now for 700 feet of elevation, something like that. I'm kind of on this ridge between other ridges. And I get to go downhill for a while. That'd be nice. Very nice, because I've been going up and down, up and down. And I get to go downhill for a bit. Then I get to go uphill some more again. <laughs> Shoo! Endless ups and downs. I came down past that boulder, and uh, this is another boulder with a kind of a cave under it. Passed by all of this, that was the boulder. More stairs. And another boulder, another big, ooh, sun, sorry. Another big boulder up 
here with the cave under it. And then more stairs coming around, going back up on the other side, I guess. It's like we're going back up. Thought I was going down into the parking lot. <laughs> I had to detour around these boulders, I guess, so. I have to go back up there, and then I'll be on a downward trajectory again, probably. Stephanie just called me, and she's at the parking lot in the gap, so. And she'll be pressing on. It's four o'clock and I have three miles to go and she's ahead of me and she'll keep pressing on to get there and find a place and set up the tent. So I'll catch up with her at the shelter. And we're going to Brown Fork Gap Shelter, I think is the name of it. So I went up those stairs that you just saw and then down a boulder scramble. Around another boulder. There's the gap that I'm hiking down into and the trail goes that way. All right so more boulder scrambling. This is the third one and as I stepped up onto this rock the chipmunks jumped down in front of me, paused a moment so I could see him right there right in front of me like 10-15 feet away but of course he jumped into hiding as quickly as that. Just a quick pause so I could see him and I didn't get a picture. Third one I've seen. Hoping I get a picture of one of them one of these times. And I gotta get going. Sometimes the trail is really difficult as seen in previous pictures. Sometimes the trail is much more easy, although this is downhill, but it's much more easy. And sometimes when it's we're going along, it's also filled with beauty. Filled with beauty. Things to appreciate along the way. I'm always taking pictures of flowers, but this is just like a whole bunch. Purple, white, yellow. down there a whole hill of these white things I don't know what they are but they're so pretty a whole hill of full of those and then all these little dainty yellows and whites and purples along the edge and the other edge as well and as my friend Bonnie said about the trail sometimes it's hard sometimes it's easy that's just kind of like life. Life has its ups and downs and its easy days and its hard days. And we take it all and look for the good in each day.